The title of this tutorial is Fourier Analysis. I have here on the screen a signal, a pulse waveform, which oscillates between minus one volt and plus one volt. It has a period of one millisecond and a pulse width of 0.5 milliseconds, meaning that the positive half cycle is 0.5 milliseconds wide with a level of uh, one volt, and the other half cycle is uh, 0.5 milliseconds with a level of minus one volt. The first thing I will do is show the waveform. So let's go to transit analysis. I had something left there from the previous run. So let's go to transit analysis. And uh, I'm setting it from zero to one millisecond, 0 0.001 second. I'm going to have it generate time steps automatically for this purpose. And the output uh, should be at uh, B of 1. There's only uh, two nodes, a ground node and node 1. And I'm going to hit simulate. Well, as you see, we have a square wave. Uh, 0 is in the middle here. And we have 1 volt on one half cycle and minus 1 volt on the other half cycle, the period here being 1 millisecond. Now, the Fourier analysis that we will be doing here is based on a periodic signal, and all of the frequency components will be at integer multiples of the fundamental. Because it is a symmetrical square wave, that is, the positive half cycle is equal to the negative half cycle in width, there will be, theoretically, no even numbered components. So let's go in and do... Uh, Fourier analysis right here. Click on Fourier analysis. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at only one component. Uh, the number here, harmonics, is one. And I'll set this on a linear scale down at the bottom. Linear with chart and graph. And I'll click simulate. And as you see here, uh, between the uh, frequency range from zero to uh, about two kilohertz, we only see one component at one kilohertz. It is a periodic signal, and a periodic signal has its spectral components at the fundamental, meaning the frequency at which the waveform uh, repeats itself, and then integer multiples of that uh, frequency. Now, up in the table here, we see no DC component, zero DC component in this particular case. We have uh, just one harmonic, which is really the fundamental, and there is no uh, distortion. The distortion is always referred to the fundamental, so we should see 0% distortion. Okay, let's get out of that one and go back to, to Fourier analysis again. And this time, I'm going to put in up to three harmonics. Okay, hit simulate, and we have the fundamental at 1 kilohertz, and a third harmonic at 3 kilohertz. Now, we don't see anything at 2 kilohertz because this particular waveform has a type of symmetry called a half-wave symmetry. In half-wave symmetry, there are no even-numbered harmonics, so you don't have a second or a fourth or a sixth and so forth, even-numbered harmonics do not appear in the spectrum. And up here in the table, you see uh, the fundamental has a magnitude of 1.27337. That's really 4 over pi. As you can see on the scale here, it's a little bit larger than uh, this number here, uh, being 4 over pi. The third harmonic is one-third of that value. A square wave has components that taper off as 1 over n, where n is the number for that particular component. So it's one-third the magnitude of the fundamental. And the distortion percentage here, 33%, indicates the percentage uh, referred, referred to the fundamental. Now, there, there's more than one definition of harmonic distortion. This one is based on RMS voltage. There's another that's based on average power, and you get different numbers either way, but this one is based on RMS voltage. The RMS voltage of this value referred to the fundamental. Now, let's go back this time and uh, do this again, 
but this time I'm going to put the components in up through the ninth harmonic. I chose the ninth simply because I believe when you first uh, turn this on, that's the default value that comes out. But you can go up to as high as you want to. Okay, I'm going to hit simulate again. And this time you see the fundamental, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, and they're getting smaller and smaller. But they do not converge very rapidly because for a square wave, the components do not converge uh, rapidly. They converge as 1 over n uh, for situations where you want to minimize bandwidth. Uh, square waves are not very good for that purpose. They need to be rounded or in some way band limited. Now uh, again up here we have the various magnitudes uh, which follow that 1 over n. Notice it does show a second harmonic, but look it's 10 to the minus 17th power. So that's about as close to zero as you can get. If I want to magnify the curve, the curves here, I can click on this and do an edit here, which I will delete the table. And when I do that, the uh, Fourier uh, series representation in the frequency domain uh, tends to occupy a much larger share of the screen. You can go back and do this in decibel form if you so desire, but uh, the point is well illustrated here in terms of the linear magnitude. Uh, when you have very, very small components, very small distortion relative to the fundamental, the decibel scale will amplify those and show it much better than the linear scale. This concludes this short demonstration on Fourier analysis.